Hey, cute people. Yeah, I have a dilemma, but I'm not really sure how I'm going to solve it just as of yet because, hmm. And I want to know if some of you go through the same thing, whether you have natural hair or permed hair or you wear um, wigs and weaves. But my dilemma is coloring my hair. That's not the only dilemma I have, but it's a choice I'm trying to make to do or not to do. See, my hair, I've been natural now maybe nine or ten years. And the last two years, I have not been taking care of my hair like I'm supposed to or like I should. Prior to that, I was doing better. I can't say I was doing the best, but I was doing better. So I'm trying to... Hmm, talk myself out of not wanting to color my hair. As a matter of fact, I think I made a video about my coloring my hair um, a while ago, and I'm going to put the card here. Yes. Like I mentioned, um, I've been natural either nine or 10 years. I did my big chop. I did upload the video here on YouTube, so I'm going to include that video here in the cards. Now, my dilemma is I don't mind gray hair. I like my gray hair. I don't necessarily want to color it. I just want something different. Yeah. I don't want to use any permanent dye system because I don't take care of my hair. And you know that will make your hair dry, brittle, so forth and on. And if you're one who doesn't take care of your hair, you can already tell that's not a great um, choice. So I don't want to do that because again, I just don't take care of my hair like I used to. Towards the end of last year, going into the beginning of this year, 2020, there was a time when two months had passed and I hadn't even washed my hair. Now I called myself moisturizing it. You know, I put the stuff in it and all that and it'd be okay for a day or two, but my hair really needs water. Water, 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 water. I think we all do, right? Before we put on all those products see great results in our hair. But me, myself, I don't know. It's like, I just don't feel like I want to do my hair as much as I used to. Like, I used to be crazy over um, getting new products, trying something different, um, putting it in my hair, see how it works with my hair. Does it make it look better than the last time I did a twist out? Um, does it last any longer? Are the results much better that I just want to keep using these particular products? One thing about me with products, I get very, 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 very bored with them. I'm ready to try something new. And that hasn't changed, but buying new stuff, that I'm not going to do. I haven't really um, bought anything as far as natural hair products. Yeah, I haven't. Now, I went to New York not recently, so I brought all my stuff down. I have it with me. And I have a whole lot, a whole lot of natural hair, full-size products, deluxe products, sample products, pill pillow packets. I have enough of it. I don't need to buy another thing. And then what makes it so bad is that a lot of that stuff I'm probably going to have to throw away because I've been down here, what, about four years before I got my stuff. So however long I could have had that stuff when I was in New York. So to me, that's like money loss. Whether I got it on sale, free, to review, whatever it is. To me, it's like money lost. So I need to just slow down because I, if I can use all the products that I have, I probably should not have to buy products for the next, I'm going to say 10 years. <laughs> yeah, 10 years. But anyway, yeah, so that's how I am with my hair. Horribly terrible. I just don't do my hair like I'm supposed to. But these products that I've been using lately, I really, really like these products. And one of the things that I've been using in my hair is the Carol's Daughter. This is the whole Carol's Daughter's hair milk system. I think I have all the um, products. But this one I really like. And yes, it is the first time I've even used Carol's Daughter products doesn't mean that I don't have any other ones but these are the first ones that I've been using and this is um the cleansing conditioner this is for curls coils kinks and waves and this product here says it moisturizes which it does it improves the softness which it does it has agave shea and pro vitamin b5 in this product here I like this product and as you can see I'm about right here in this product 
so you know I really, really like it. I would not say I wouldn't purchase it again, but I'm ready to try something else. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but if I like something, I will use it till it gets down to the bottom of the bottle jar tub till I'm squeezing the tube, whatever it is, but I may not purchase it again. But this I would. I love, love, love how it smells. Oh, I love the smell. It smells just like roses, just like fresh roses. And another thing about the product here, you can kind of see what it looks like. It's not a thin product. It's pretty thick, and I like that. And it really, really does good. It has a nice amount of slip, so you can do some light detangling, I would say. I wouldn't say you can do a lot of detangling. I've never used this product to detangle my hair. To detangle my hair, I always use um, coconut oil. But I really do like this product. And one thing I like about it, because like me, it was made with love and born in Brooklyn. I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> that's me. Yeah, but I really like this um, product. And I got it from Sal. It was some sale going on. But like I said, I wouldn't repurchase it. Not because I don't like it. I just won't repurchase it because... Um, I don't need to... I just need to move on. <laughs> I just need to move on. Like a love affair. But, so, I think for me right now, hair coloring might be off the list only because I don't take care of my hair like I'm supposed to. Maybe I'll test myself and just give myself maybe three solid months. If I can take care of my hair like I should and get the moisture back into my hair, whereas if I skipped one week of doing my hair, it really wouldn't hurt me much. Like, now if I skip one week, <sighs> yeah, I just wreck habit on my havoc on my hair because yeah it, it needs to be moisturized several several weeks before it even looks like it loves me again if i could say that but yeah so now the next thing i was thinking about too was big chopping my hair i wanted to chop it and lock it well chop it and sister lock it at the beginning of the year i said to myself you know you don't take care of yourself well your hair yourself too but your hair is what we're talking about you may as well go ahead and just big chop let it grow out a little bit and then go ahead and sister lock it right because my hair now i don't think i want to have it sister locked now because it would cost me a great penny to get my hair sister locked and besides anyway it's so tangled i need to cut it i can cut it probably shorter but i'm really thinking about just buzzing it like I did before, just buzzing it and just let it just grow back. And then after about a year, six, yeah, about a year, I get some growth just going ahead and sister locking it. So I don't really know. I wish I knew how much it would cost um, me to get my hair sister locked at the length that it is now. But unfortunately, living here where I am, it's not like you can just walk into a shop and say, hey, how much would this cost? Like if I was in New York, I probably can walk in on any salon, on any street corner in Harlem, Bethesda, Stuyvesant, somewhere, and find someone that does sister locks. But here, it's not quite that way. If I want to get my hair sister locked, I'd probably have to drive about four or five hours. Now, there is someone who does sister locks that's not too far from me. But, um, yeah, I don't really want to drive just to ask questions if I'm not really sure that I want to get my hair sister locked. Or just to find out how much she would charge. Yeah, I'm just curious at how much it would charge me. Especially where I live. I know it would be much cheaper than it would be if I lived in New York. But we'll see. We'll see. So that was my plan to cut it all off. Not short, but all off. Because I think when my hair starts getting to about like right here, it starts to thin out a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So I probably need to cut all this off. I haven't cut my hair in a long time, but I really, really need to. Because right in here, it feels really thick. Up in here, it feels like where all my hair is. And the type of hair I have, all the hair is probably shrunk up in here, which I probably need to, if I pulled it down, it probably would meet the ends of my hair. But yeah, like I said, my hair gets so tangled. See, it's tangled now. And a lot of times I can just, yeah. Not really pull it, but just untangle it all types of different ways. But 
after a while, who got who has time at my age to want to detangle your hair all the time? If if you have small little detangles, that's okay. But I always have those big like detangles and a whole bunch of shed hair. You see, I mean a whole bunch of shed hair all the time in my hair. And because I don't do my hair as often as I should, those shed hairs tangle up my hair. And then back here somewhere. I have a dread. I'm going to call it a dread. It may as well be a dread. I don't know where it is, but it's back here somewhere. And I just kept it. And usually when that happens, I let it grow out a little bit and then I just cut it on off. Yeah. So that's what my hair is. And then after I use that um, cleansing conditioner, then I use this product here, which is the Curl Defining Moisture Mask. And I like this stuff too. And as good as it smells, it makes my hair smell so good. Like I said, at least a week, even more really to tell you too, more than a week. And this here has agave, mango butter, and panthenol. Mm -hmm. Panthenol. So I like this product here. And as you can see, I still have quite a bit of it, but I do use it each time I use the conditioning cream conditioning the cleanser so i'll continue to use this till i'm finished because i like this system here i have some shampoo bars i'll probably when i finish this because you can see it's right here so i'll use this with the cleansing bar and then after i do that i put in the label is gone but this was a detangling leave-in I believe it was a detangling, but I used this in my hair too. And this really feels really, really good to my hair. So after I put this in my hair, then I just go ahead and put some of this um, Sunny Io Extra Dark Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I'll put this in my hair. And it makes my hair feel really, really good. I wish I could give you more information. But the whole thing with this product line is that it's supposed to moisturize, soften, and prevent fizz. Frizz. Now, I can tell you for sure, it moisturizes my hair. It softens my hair. It makes my hair feel really, really good. Like, when I complete the whole system, the next day, my hair is so soft. I mean, it's just, like, so soft and it feels so good. But I don't know what I want to do to my hair. Like I said... I would like to color it and, and really just color it for color it for the summer just to give it some pizzazz really. But I don't wanna put a dye in my hair and I really don't know how a hmm a rinse or a semi permanent would do for my hair, so I don't know. I'll get back to that. Um I'll think about it and see where I wanna go. But as far as cutting it, yeah, I'm kinda with that because me, myself, at my age, and if you are in your 50s or over 50 and you have natural hair, let me know in the comment section what you do to your hair. Like, I don't really don't want to take the time to detangle my hair because, again, since I have um, tight, decoiled hair, I have to detangle it. I, I That's something I have to do. I have to detangle it each time I wash it. And even if I don't wear my hair out, even with twists, it still gets tangled. Ask me how that works. I don't know. So that means each time that I wash my hair, which it should be every week for me, I have to detangle it and I don't want to do that all the time. So I was thinking about, like I said, big chopping it and sister locking it because with the sister locks, yeah, I mean, I have to maintain it, of course, but I don't have to worry about loose hair and having to detangle it because it'll already be tangled. <laughs> So I don't have to worry about detangling it or anything. Of course, the only thing is the upkeep because I will not be, um, what do you, what do you call that? Retwisting my hair. I'm not sure the word you would use, but I will not be doing that myself. When I was younger, those things used to be so much fun, you know, um, experimenting with your hair, braiding your hair, trying new styles. Mm, I can't, mm, I don't want to. And then the last thing I use in this system here is the hair milk styling pudding and this has agave avocado i don't know if this says gar gum but you probably can't see it let me see if i can kind of put my finger where you should look i don't know if you can see well these are the ingredients in this product and as you can see i've used it up because like i said i really really like this stuff i really really do and again, this whole system smells so good, so good. I love how it smells. And I love 
how it makes my hair feel. But as you can see, I'm almost done, which is great because I'm ready to move on. I'm really ready to try something else. I don't know why, but yeah. And, and using these products here, I'll say I probably been using it for the last, well, if I was consistent with it, it would be the last four months maybe. So I got some good use out of it, but I'm ready to try something else. But I just wanted to share with you the dilemmas that I'm having with my hair for the summer. Should I color it? I don't know. And then I wouldn't mind, like, this, okay, let me show you what I'm this is another thing I thought of, but I don't want to do it. Like this part right here and this part right here. Keep that part gray, right? And then the rest of it, color it. I don't know. I just love my gray here. <laughs> I just love how it is, how... See how old it makes me look? If the whole thing other make me look... But then when it's like this, it doesn't look like... I'm that old anyway. But yeah, I just really love this little streak in my hair. And it's not the exact same because over on this side, as you can see, it's more gray. And then over here, the gray starts towards the middle. That's probably a tangle right there. But yeah, so that's my dilemma. If you have those same dilemmas or other dilemmas, share them below in the comments section. Let's talk about it. And if you have a suggestion of how I can color my hair without using too many harsh chemicals, let me know. If you do, if you don't, well, that'll be okay. Because I probably won't even do it anyway. <laughs> Only because I don't want to do it. And do I really want to drive five hours with someone else to do it? Maybe if the price is right. I don't know. We'll see. But that's where I am with my hair. So, yeah. I'm going to end this video now because as you can tell, I need to do something to my hair. And if I don't do anything with it, like really soon, I'm going to end up pulling it all out of my head. Because I just found so many tangles. And then I'm pulling out so many shed hairs. Can you see that? Yeah, so I just may as well just go ahead and put something in my hair. Now, what I'm going to do, something really simple. I'm just going to use my Mr. Hair, Miss My Hair. Put the stuff in my hair. I'm going to put my hair maybe in like four big braids and try to detangle as much as I can because I don't ever fully detangle. Um, yeah, I just detangle enough and that's not good either because if I don't get them all out, they just keep detangling and that's when I get the little dreads. Where's that dread at? And then I just end up cutting it. So that's why I figured I may as well just go ahead and cut all my hair off and not saying that I'm starting from, be from the beginning, but, um, just chop it and sister lock it. I may as well. Well, most women my age that have dreads, they take their dreads out, but... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Somewhere, somehow, I have to come to a conclusion, a resolution for my dilemma. But I'm going to end this video here because I just wanted to chat and ramble, really. Yeah, I just wanted to chat and ramble. And I'm trying not to get this video to 20 minutes, so I got to go. And, um, yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video. I'm looking all over the place because I'm just, like, ready to end my day. Well, not end it, but ready to relax. And I still have other things to do. Yeah, so... Yeah, I know this video is all over the place. But still like it. And still like me. And listen, thanks again for stopping by. I started it before and I didn't finish. But thanks again for stopping by and watching this video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I want you to do nothing but... Ooh, just here. I want you to do nothing but share and spread love. There it is. Share and spread love.